Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my all-time favorite store in the entire world, TJ Maxx. I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx beauty haul. I went there a few days ago and I also went there this morning and I figured I would share with you guys all the new goodies that I got. I'm so excited. You guys know my obsession with TJ Maxx is like beyond an obsession. I don't know. I just love it there so much. Everything is from TJ Maxx. The stuff behind here that you see in my room, TJ Maxx. My shirt, TJ Maxx. My life, TJ Maxx. I pretty much get everything from there, like 90% of my stuff is from there. I got a lot of stuff because a lot of you guys have been requesting more routine lifestyle videos, like updated versions, and I've done so many, like morning routines, night routines, pamper routines, but you guys really seem to enjoy them, so I figured I would go there and get some stuff for those videos because I love finding stuff from there because they're really hidden gems, they're super affordable, and a lot of the times the products are amazing so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video grab a snack don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's just go ahead and jump into the haul okay so <laughs> i have two full bags full of stuff let's start with this bag i do have a little bit of an explanation for my madness though i did have a gift card that i got as a graduation gift so that is my excuse for getting so much stuff but i mean you know I would have went there probably even if I didn't have a gift card. They have so much makeup there. So the first thing that I got is this Bare Minerals Gold Obsession Candlelight Glow Illuminator Plus Brush little duo thing here. So I've actually, I'm pretty sure that I've seen this um, before like a few months ago on YouTube. Um, this is a limited edition product, but I couldn't help myself. This was only $15 and on the front it says it's a $34 kit and it's apparently a $54 value. So it just comes in this little plastic container. You get the highlighter and then you get a brush, which honestly I would not use this brush for highlighting. It looks just like a kind of like one of those brushes that you just paint on like a mask or something. It feels really heavy though. It just looks like that. It's just, I don't like these type of brushes for foundation because I feel like it makes you look really streaky, but the highlighter looks gorgeous. This is in the style Gold Obsession. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's like a mirrored packaging and just touching the highlighter. It kind of feels like a cream product, but I've been really into cream highlighting and contouring, so I feel like this color would be gorgeous for just every day. It's like a really nice gold. And I was just really surprised to see a Bare Minerals product there. My TJ Maxx has been stocked up on a lot of like high-end makeup, so I've been really, really like lucky to find a lot of this stuff because my TJ Maxx used to like not have a lot of high-end makeup, and I feel like they recently just started doing that. So I've been really loving it. So yeah, that is the first thing that I got, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. 15 bucks for a Bare Minerals highlighter. Not bad, right? Next up, I got two Stila lip products. The first thing is the Stay All Day Liquid lipstick. I actually have like two of these in my collection. I actually really like these. The formula is pretty nice. I still get like that ring right here in my lips whenever I wear these. I feel like that happens with almost all of my liquid lipsticks though, but I do really like this and I just thought this uh, color was really pretty for summer. This one is in the shade Venezia and it's just like a really hot coral red. Mmm, these smell like cupcakes. I mean, this color though is everything. I feel like colors like this make your teeth look super it's like a red, but it's kind of pinky, but it's kind of coral. It's kind of just like the perfect shade. And this, these are normally like 22 bucks, and this was only $6. So I thought that was a steal. I'm not sure if this is like a limited edition color, but this is everything. I love that shade. And then I also picked up this Color Bomb lipstick, and this one was also $6, and this one's in the shade Emma. And this is, of course, a nude. I thought this would be just really pretty for every day. Maybe I could throw this in my purse. And you can see the packaging is just like a regular lipstick, but this is really creamy and opaque, and this color is just gorgeous. It's just like a really light pink, and ooh, this smells like peppermint, which I'm obsessed with, because I feel like peppermint is like a two-in-one product. Leaves your lips nice and fresh, and then your breath smells good too, so that's always a plus. So, super excited about those Stila products. And then I got this Shea Moisture Bronzer. I didn't even know that Shea Moisture did makeup. I thought they just did skincare and hair products, so I was really pumped about this. This was only $2.99, and this just looks like the most amazing bronzer for the face and body for summer when I'm tan. I was like, I need that in my life. I mean, this looked really, really promising. I really love Shea Moisture, like all this stuff for the most part that I've tried. I've been really happy with as far as like body care and stuff goes. This packaging though, like I really like this. this 
this I cannot believe this is only three dollars so this bronzer does look like it has a little bit of like a sheen like a gold not sheen like a shimmer underneath oh <gasps> this is really really intense it's like a caca brown but honestly I love shades like this for bronzing because they're really warm and I feel like they just make you look really like you just got back from the beach like a vacation so it feels really nice just rubbing my finger in it it feels pretty soft and I really love that shade. I think this is going to be really pretty. It doesn't look like it has any noticeable like glitter or shimmer in it, but you can tell it has like sort of a little bit of a golden esque undertone to it. So I would probably use this for bronzing, not so much contouring, but looks really pretty even just to apply it all over your chest when you're tan. I love it. And this was only, like I said, $3. Like, do you guys see why I love TJ Maxx so much? Like, you just never know what you're going to find. And I love how you guys send me all the TJ Maxx memes on Twitter and Instagram. Like, you get me. And, of course, I'm going to be featuring all this stuff in some upcoming makeup tutorials and stuff. So, be on the lookout. Okay, I had to stock up on another of my face mists that I get. This is the Pearl Essence Aloe Rose Water. I'm co- Currently, I swear I get the weirdest accents when I get excited about makeup, but I'm currently using the rose water one I had the cucumber spray a few months back and I love this I use this as part of my skincare routine in the morning and at night once I'm done applying all my serums and my moisturizers I'll just spray this right over top and I feel like it just really locks everything into place And it just leaves my skin feeling so glowy and hydrated and I just love this I cannot go without applying some sort of mist to my face with my skincare because I feel like like I said it just locks everything inside my skin so I've never tried the aloe one so I thought this would be really nice it smells really good just like really refreshing which is what I love and oh my gosh if you guys need a good spray definitely check out TJ Maxx or even Marshall's they have a ton of different ones they had a regular rose water coconut rose just different ones but I really wanted to try this one out because I heard aloe is actually really good for your skin so Love that, and this one was only $8, and this bottle does last me a really long time. I still have like half of my bottle, but I like to stock up because you never know with TJ Maxx. Like sometimes they run out of stuff and you never know when they're gonna come back. So, had to stock up on that. Then I got this Pearl Essence Turmeric and Honey Reviving Mask. I'm really into skincare. I love trying out new oils and facial masks. I love facial masks. This smells really different. I was really intrigued by this, mostly because I love this Pearl Essence brand. It's been really good with me and my skin. So this says it's an antioxidant, deep cleansing mask it's a reviving treatment for dry dull skin soothing honey with anti-inflammatory turmeric extract revitalizes tired skin and reveals a youthful glow I mean who doesn't love glowy fresh healthy looking skin so I'm a really easy person to convince to I've told you guys that before like if you're telling me this like at Ulta for example I'm gonna buy it because I'm convinced that it's gonna work so this just sounded really promising and it was only six dollars and I think that's really good for this big too because I usually don't run out of facial masks like this so really excited about that I'm probably gonna be testing that out and if it's really good I'll probably show you guys that maybe in a pamper routine or something very soon so this next thing that I got is the activated charcoal fluoride free toothpaste this is from the brand my magic MVD it's a whitening toothpaste I get so many questions about my teeth literally in almost every single video which thank you guys because I used to hate my teeth growing up I actually wanted braces and random fun fact uh, when my friend Ashley got braces in eighth grade I was jealous because I wanted braces braces and I begged my parents for them but I didn't get them. So I've never got braces or anything like that but my teeth I feel like have gotten really white because I used to use the Crest 3D white strips for a really long time for a few years like when I used to go to prom and then just recently I started using stuff like this like charcoal toothpaste and charcoal powders and mixing it with my toothpaste and I feel like these really work especially if you're consistent with them. Once I notice my teeth to be like as white as I like I won't do things like this as often because I know a lot of people say it's not good for your gums. So just do it at your own risk. I mean, I have pretty sensitive teeth and I don't have any issues with stuff like this. So I think it really just comes down to you as a person and how you feel comfortable with using it. But you could use it maybe like twice a week, once a week, whatever you feel like you need for your teeth. But I've never tried this brand. I usually get the Vitamix or not Vitamix, that's a blender. Oh my gosh. I think it's called the Vitamin C brand or something like that. I'll insert a clip of the powder that I currently have. That's the brand that I've used, but I saw this. I love spearmint and they also had a peppermint one and I was like let me give this a try um, it's all natural no gluten no GMOs fluoride free so it just looked really promising I love stuff like this because I like to keep my teeth away especially now that I've been drinking more coffee I know that this is kind of expensive for just a thing of toothpaste but it's a lot cheaper versus buying white strips if you don't want to spend the money on that or even getting your teeth professionally whitened because stuff like this 
really works, I promise. If you're consistent, it's gonna work. Then I got this creamy cleanser. It's from the brand Come Clean. It has cucumber and spearmint to cleanse and hydrate, and it also has green tea. I saw cucumber and I was sold. Cucumber is like my favorite thing for the skin, so I really need a new cleanser. I've been kind of going back and forth with different cleansers because I get a lot of different skincare stuff sent to me, and there's some stuff that I give away and other stuff that I'll just try out for myself, and I've been using the L'Oreal cleansers, and they're okay. I don't see a huge difference with my skin, but I was just using them up just to kind of, you know, know get rid of them but I'm running low on that so I figured I would give this one a try and this was only four dollars and it smells really good it smells like mint which I personally really like I think that's gonna feel really good on the skin very cooling so let me know if you've tried this and leave me your favorite cleansers down below because I've been looking for a new one I really did like the Shea Moisture one but I always like to try out new skincare. The next thing that I got is actually for the feet because I like to keep my feet nice and moisturized. This is the Peppermint and Aloe Vera Softening Foot Balm. This was only also $4, which I thought was great for this big thing of moisturizer. So I usually get pedicures, but ugh, this is so weird. But my big toe sometimes gets really ashy. Like, I don't know why. It's just like, it just happens. Like, it just gets really, really ashy. Usually like two days after I get a pedicure or something, I start noticing the big toe. It's just this dry patch is on it, and it's on both of them. So I'm like, let me keep my feet hydrated. I mean, I usually put moisturizer all over my body, but I feel like it's not maybe thick or creamy enough for the feet. So I wanted to try this out and see if it'll work because when I'm wearing sandals, sometimes, honestly, you can see the big dry patch on my toe, which is, I know it sounds nasty, but... I mean, it's real life. <laughs> and it says it's an intensive hydrating nourishment for dry, cracked heels. So technically it's for your heels, but I would apply just all over my foot, like just to kind of, you know, get the whole foot nice and hydrated and glowy as well. We can't forget the feet for summer. Oh, I knew I got more makeup. I was like, wait, I thought I got more makeup products. More makeup is in the bottom of the bag. Okay, more bronzers. So they have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Surprisingly, I've never tried this bronzer. I tried the Beach Bunny bronzer years ago wasn't my favorite. I felt like it didn't really show up too much on my skin, but I was like, let me give this a try. It's in the shade medium deep, and it's just a matte bronzer. It literally smells like chocolate, which I love. This looked really good. It's a little bit of a cool tone bronzer, and I feel like this would be really good for contouring. It didn't look too ashy, and it feels really smooth. So I usually really love um, Too Faced. Like, I love the foundations and stuff that they have in their concealer, so I was like, I'm sure this is going to be good, so really pumped about this, and this was only $12. I wonder if this is getting discontinued. I'm not really sure why they have this there, but I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I got another bronzer. This one's from Smashbox. This one was $15. It's the Bronze Light, and this one's in the shade Warm Matte. I'm all about bronzing. I'm always looking for a new bronzer. The packaging is so beautiful, and this literally just looks like the perfect color to contour to bronze with I mean it's just a really nice formula too. just like by touching it it feels so creamy and soft so I really really like this this seems like a really light color so maybe for those really natural makeup days I think this would be a really great bronzer so love it and again this one's in the shade warm matte I've never seen this product before so I'm not really sure if this is also a discontinued product but what ifs? I plan on doing a waterproof makeup tutorial, so I got this Milani waterproof pencil, and this one's in the shade Keep on Sapphire. It's just like a really nice blue, and I want to test some makeup out, like literally go to a pool underwater and see. So I thought I could add this as part of the makeup tutorial, and this is just like a really nice blue. I love doing pops of color on the lower lash line, so this one looked really pretty, and I'm pretty sure I've tried Milani eyeliners before. I don't really remember, but this was really affordable. It was only $3, so I was like, let me just give it a try. Another makeup product. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick, and this one's in the shade Ashton, and this one was only $8. I've tried Anastasia's formula. It's pretty good. It's a little drying, but I feel like a lot of liquid lipsticks are drying. Like, usually I'll just put, like, a little bit of gloss or something over top, and I'll be good to go. If I like the color, honestly, I'm willing to risk it, unless it's, like, really dramatically cracking on my lips but for the most part the formula it kind of reminds me of ColourPop in a way but it's a little less drying than ColourPop so it's kind of like a little mixture of both but this is just a really gorgeous nude color and you guys know I'm obsessed with nudes. It's kind of like a deeper nude, but I feel like I'm always mixing colors, so this would just be a nice little addition to my collection. And they actually had a lot of different Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Some of them I already owned, but a lot of them were like bright pinks and like deep wine colors. They had like a super light baby doll pink. So they had a lot, so definitely check them out. If you really like Anastasia's formula, go to Marshalls, go to TJ Maxx, and see what they have, because they had a lot of different colors at my TJ Maxx. Okay, so then I 
I got some hair products. So for those of you who can't really tell, I've been getting my hair, you can't really even tell in this lighting, I've been getting it lightened a little bit. I'm kind of going for like a balayage, like you know when your hair is darker at the top, a little bit lighter on the bottom. I'm not a hair expert so I don't know exactly what that even means, but um, I just wanted to add something to my hair and so I do get it done if you're wondering and I don't know exactly what she uses but I know she uses obviously bleach in my hair to get it lightened and my hair is still really healthy but it's a little dry like just feeling it feels a little bit dry so I want to do some more like treatments in my hair now that I have more time so I got these from Chi they just looked really interesting and I don't think I've ever tried anything from Chi before so this is the luxury black seed oil hot oil treatment I've heard really great things about black seed oil so I was like maybe this is gonna be good it smells just like roses and I love the smell of roses like literally a fresh dozen roses so I thought this was really interesting and then I also got this Chi luxury black seed oil leave-in conditioner this was 10 bucks and I'm all about leave-in conditioners I ran out of the ones that I was using and I was started using the it's a 10 leave-in conditioning treatment which I do really like but again I'm always down to trying out some new hair products because I get bored with hair so easily and this also smells just like roses and perfume and when your hair smells good you just feel like a million bucks you know like it's just the best feeling when you're like walking past somebody and they're like oh my god your hair smells good that's a good feeling okay I got two oils actually just kidding one oil one serum this is the pearl essence coconut rose hydrating facial oil I love facial oils I just started using a new one from pixie which I really like and I'm obsessed with my drunk elephant oil but obviously that's super pricey so I always like to try out new ones just so that I can give you guys some other alternatives and stuff and again with the pearl essence brand I'm obsessed and this is the coconut rose they had other ones but I mean come on coconut rose that's like so me on the back it says it's a daily hydration that helps balance and rejuvenate while adding radiance to moisture depleted Skin. So you could really use oils morning and night. I personally like to just use them at night because I feel like it's a little too overwhelming to use in the morning, like especially before makeup. It can be a little too much. So usually with my oils, it depends on how dry my skin is. I like to just press it into my bare skin or I'll mix it with my favorite moisturizer, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Serum. Wake up and your skin just feels and looks so plump and hydrated. So I think this is going to be good. I have a good feeling about it and this is only six bucks. I got this Province Beauty Vitamin C Facial Serum. This is just a brightening serum apparently it's just like a really nice like skin enhancement and just a brightener for your face I'm pretty sure the serum that I have from drug elephant has vitamin C in it as well but I've heard that just plain vitamin C like this is better than other stuff when it's like mixed in with it so I was like let me give it a try whatever this is just super random I got these exfoliating body scrubbers because I want to start self tanning soon and I love stuff like this because I really feel like it takes all the dead skin off and these were only five bucks and you get two of them they're pretty thick and I like how they feel a little bit rough because I hate honestly sponges that are soft on the skin because I feel like it's not really taking off any dead skin it's kind of just like rubbing the dead skin but I also got these deep cleansing charcoal strips these are the three-in-one pore strips I usually use the Bior brand I love them I have a ton of them even Hector likes them he'll use them sometimes on his nose and they really do work especially if you're consistent with them so these are from the brand bio miracle and you get oh wow 15 strips I didn't even realize how much for some reason I thought uh, okay okay for some reason I thought there was only three strips in here but it's just because on the top it says three and one pour strips but there's actually 15 so these have apparently no sulfates, no parabens, and it has aloe and witch hazel, which witch hazel is what helped cure my acne scars. I used to have acne scars on my cheeks when I was in high school, and witch hazel completely changed my skin. So, love these, and I want to see what they look like. Oh, okay, cool. So you literally get 15 packs. I think that's a really good deal for only $4? You can't beat it. Next thing that I got is a Skin Nourishing Body Oil Spray. This just smelled so good. I sprayed it and I was like, oh my gosh. It smells like just so clean. It's literally a body oil and I'm thinking maybe I could add like a loose highlighter and make kind of like my own body lava like, you know, Rihanna. I've been wanting to get that, but the color that I want is always sold out. But this is just like a cheaper alternative to that. This bottle was only $8. So if you get like a liquid highlighter, let's just say it's $10. So 
that's like 20 bucks for some body lava. I think that would be a really cool thing to do. But even just without applying any liquid highlighter in here, just like applying the oil to like your chest or on your arms or something, it just feels really good. It's really moisturizing. And even though it's an oil, it doesn't feel excessively greasy. Like just spraying it on my arm, it feels really, really good. And look how cute the little shells are on the bottom. Like this just screams summer to me. I am just like such a packaging person. Like if the packaging is cute, the bottle is cute. Like I'm going to want to try the product out. So I just thought this was really cool. And this is from the brand Kiss Me in the Garden. That's cute. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got two packs of wipes. I really still love the Parent Choice wipes, but I've tried so many different packs of wipes for like makeup remover and I have a lot of favorites. Like I love different makeup remover wipes, but I usually don't like to spend a lot of money on them just because I feel like sometimes when you get packs like this, you just get more for your money. So I'd rather get big packs like this. So this is the Charcoal Detoxifying Purifying Cleansing Facial Wipes. I love anything charcoal for the skin as well. It just works really well for my skin. And these were only $3.99. I think you get like 60 wipes in here, which I think is pretty good. I mean, I do go through these very quickly, but I always like to have backups. So that's why I also did get the Coconut Infused Makeup Cleansing wipes and these were only also four dollars for 60 wipes i think that's a really good deal and they had a ton but i was really intrigued by coconut and charcoal Duh. all right i think that's everything that i got i got a lot of stuff i'm really excited to share these products with you guys in my upcoming videos let me know down below of things that you found at tj maxx some of you guys are telling me that you found glow kits there lily lashes i didn't get that lucky but i think i got some good stuff so let me know if you've tried any of these products down below also leave me your faves from tj maxx i would love to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you in a few days in my next one bye